Hey everybody, it's Kevin Fenn with EastCapeCanoes.com. Today we have a 2010 Center Console Lossman. Uh, this boat is getting ready to leave and we're going to go over some of the options here that this boat has. First of all, obvious, it's got the Center Console. He has the Hummingbird um, GPS on it. Something new for us is he has the grab rails that you see here. So the customers on either side can go ahead and grab while he's running. We have the backrest. The backrest goes up and down. Okay, so you can attach it with a Velcro or, you know, a bungee or something, or you can just leave it down, or you can actually take it off when you're not using it. So, again, we have the center console. We have the backrest uh, with the cushion set. We also have the grab handles. We have a T-bore push-pull holder up top. We have something cool here. Again, orangecountyboatworks.com. Not only do we work on our boats, we also work on yours. Uh, we have a custom welded uh, pulling platform with wide steps, kind of like a pyramid style, and with also the non-skid on top. We have, moving to the back, we have the new Honda 50 EFI. We have a Bob's jack plate on the back. Uh, this gentleman decided to keep the speed prop and going with a three-blade as opposed to a three-blade cupped or four-blade because he just wants to use it for putt-putting or once he's on plane, he will trim up and uh, you know maximize his speed. Uh, we also have the bottom uh, finder there so he can read the bottom while he's running. We have the hang out with your wang out, wanganchor.com uh, stakeout system. Uh, another thing that's unique about this boat is, boat is we have a guide green hull with a cream deck. This is a beautiful color combination. And uh, obviously the camera and pictures don't do this boat justice, but this is a beautiful boat. Then uh, walking, we have something else that's really cool about this boat is we have uh, shotgun rod holders on both sides. So we have it on the port side and the starboard side. So not only does he have eight rods going forward, he has eight rods going backwards. So, you know, 16 rods under gunnel is quite impressive on a polling skiff. We're one mile from the uh, Orlando International Airport. So what that means to you is if you live outside the state and you book your flight in advance, I can come pick you up at the airport, bring you back here to the shop, show you how we build our boats, take you out to the lake nearby, run the boats, pull the boat, and everything else, and then take you back so you can do a red-eye flight, or obviously the next day you catch a flight back. Uh, again, being so close to Orlando International Airport has its pluses, and that's one of them. So if you guys are out there in cyberspace thinking about buying a boat, book a flight in advance. I know they're, you know, they're, they're pretty affordable nowadays, especially if you book them out two, three weeks in advance. I'll come pick you up. But anyways, moving back onto the boat, we also have the um, castawaycustoms.com, Tyler at SeaDeck. We did the reel pads under the gunnel, and we also did it on top of the polling platform. Then we also have the cooler package. He can use that as dry storage. He can use that as wet storage. He can, uh, you know, we have a divider that goes in there that he can move back and forth, you know, so he can dictate what he wants. Over here we have the finished interior, but we also have the powder-coated gas tank. Just another little option that guys want to do. Again, we are the originator of the gas tank coming out of the front hatch. We've been doing that now for over five years on the Lostman model. So it's a pretty cool feature to have built into a boat. We also have the fly line tow rails on this. He's a fly fisherman. We also have the 55 pound 12 volt remote Minn Kota troller. So he can stand on the polling platform and actually operate the trolling motor. Um, we also have a breakaway trailer tongue. We have the Fulton jack stand and the, and the uh, winch cover. That's also new on our trailers this year for 2010. But the main thing is just this boat is, again, very simple, uh, going to be very easy for him to maintain. He actually went out on the Lostman prior to buying one. He went out with uh, Captain Lad Stevens of the SportingLifeAdventures.com. Captain Lad's over on the west coast of Florida out of Sarasota. This boat's going to see a lot of action in Port Charlotte, Sarasota, lower Tampa Bay. Um, again, beautiful boat. And, uh, oh, we also have the pop-up push pole. I'll just walk over here and show you guys. Lostman has a big front deck, a lot of real estate, but goes up and down, stays out of his way. You can see the wing anchor under the gunnel. It's obviously going backwards like our Cayman style. We also have the water pressure gauge. And uh, with all of our engines, they all get the uh, digital gauge package. We don't use any of the cheaper gauges that some of the manufacturers do. We use the higher end stuff. But again, just a beautiful boat, beautiful color. Laid out really nice. Last week you guys saw a offset center console. This one is over straight to the center. 
He opted for the uh, no jump seat. He also wanted the height to stay the, where it is. Uh, we can also cut it down, but this gentleman wanted to leave the height where it is. But uh, again, just a beautiful, beautiful boat. And um, Sherman, thank you very much. And for all you guys out there, I hope this works for you. And um, thank you for your time. Peace. <laughs>